Hi, it's Phil Bedford here and welcome to this week's episode of the Rebel Networker. And today, I'm here in Dubai with John Matone. John? Phil. Welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. And welcome back to the Middle East. I'm back. Thank you so much. <laughs> I appreciate it. Now, John's latest book is Cultural Transformations. And what I thought I'd get him to do is uh, give us a couple of tips, particularly from this, for, for any entrepreneurs out there. And of course, any larger uh, organizations that will be listening in, there's going to be some key learnings for you as well. So, John, what would be one of your tips in terms of leadership or culture for entrepreneurs? Well, for entrepreneurs, Phil, and we were talking about this earlier, there's, there's no question that most entrepreneurs are passionate about getting a product out there that can sell, right? <laughs> And then the, the second thing is, uh, you know, customers, right? Customers. But what I've discovered, uh, not only in entrepreneurial companies, but also the, the, the big companies, is that unless you build in culture correctly from the outset, mm -hmm. you're going to lose your way. And so, yes, I understand product, and I understand the customer is important, but if you don't assemble the right people in your business to make sure that you've got the culture to support your, your operating imperative, you will fail. Okay, so if I'm uh, uh, I'm listening to you now and I read your book, and yes. at the end of the day I'm still an entrepreneur and I've just started out, and I'm like, you know, this is all nice, but I just need clients. Yes. What would be one of your one of your tips there to help, help those people to consider culture at that time? Well, I, I think when you look at culture, we should start with the definition. Always start off with the definition, and culture will start with the entrepreneur. So the first step always is to look at you as the entrepreneur, the starter of the business. And are you the kind of individual in terms of inner core strength and vibrancy? In other words, come, really coming to reflect upon your self-concept and your character and the values that you bring to your business and the world and asking yourself, uh, are, are you the kind of person that, uh, because your character, whatever character you've got is gonna roll in your business. Mm -hmm. So I tell entrepreneurs all the time that if you want to be successful, you must look inside first. Uh, and you've got to make sure you're in good shape. You must be strong and vibrant in the inner core. You've got to make sure you have all the right skills. You've got to be together. That's the definition of culture. Mm -hmm. All you need to do is multiply that. So if you're the CEO and you've got a group of people running your business, their culture is a combination of all of those things, character and values and so on and so forth. I would say start with yourself. So start with yourself, walk the talk, uh, and ultimately, you, I think what you're implying is you're going to start to attract the people that have those some sort of values? Absolutely. And I think the other thing too is, and we learned this from the, the late Steve Jobs, probably the, the, the greatest entrepreneur ever, uh, this whole notion of thinking differently and thinking big. Uh, what I was able to learn interviewing uh, 14 of the top CEOs in the world, many of whom run entrepreneurial uh, companies, is that to be successful nowadays, it's so disruptive, right? It's so, it's so complex out there. How do, you, how do you combat all the disruption? You, you really gotta have a disruptive mindset. And that starts with thinking differently and thinking big, which was the, the mantra of Steve Jobs that he brought to the world of, of big business and I think also to uh, the entrepreneurial pursuits that are out there. Think differently, think big, don't get caught in your comfort zone, never rest on your laurels. Um, yeah, recognize the comfort zone as one that's, that's uh, really painful and recognize disruption as your journey to success. Brilliant, I love it. John, thank you. Thanks so much for your tips. Thanks so much, Phil. Thanks, Thanks for having me, I appreciate it. So, think about your culture and remember, push your comfort zone. John, Rebel Networker.